Life is pain. Why are you surprised? Pain occurs when your expectation does not meet reality. Life has been painful for me for many years. However, nothing major, nothing physical, nothing really bad has ever happened to me. In fact, many good things have happened to me. So where is this pain coming from then? The answer is found in my youthful expectation for life. Life is beautiful. Follow your dreams. You can do anything. Just work hard and you'll be fine. So what about when I did follow my dreams? I always worked hard. And still, life somehow seemed hopeless. This did not compute. Hence, pain. What exactly did this pain look like for me? Well, pain was realizing humans are horrible creatures. Pain was realizing this modern life is orchestrated to keep us all enslaved. Pain was realizing there is no true freedom in this earthly life. Pain was realizing I can't trust the people I've been told to trust. Pain was realizing that anywhere I turn, I was getting poisoned, whether it was by my food, by my water, by my clothing, or by the air in my lungs. Pain was realizing that no matter how hard I work, I have to relentlessly work that hard until I am so old I can't even live my life. And pain is seeing all of those hours of work go not to my family, not to my homestead, not to my business, but straight into the hands of people more powerful than I. People who wouldn't even care if I lived or died. These realities exist, but I don't think they need to be this painful. Most of this pain comes from my false expectation for life. Expecting ease, goodness, positivity only made meeting reality all the more painful. What would it have been like had my expectation of life been accurate from the start. The evils of this world would not have surprised me. I'd have been ready for them. What if, as a child, I had been prepared for this hopeless life? That can sound tough. Who wants to tarnish the innocent joy in a child's life? They are so blissfully unaware and think life is wonderful. Why prematurely take that away from them? Why not let them hold on to that innocence for as long as they can? World views are created during these formative years. It's hard to shake after it's been established. Is it better to preserve a child's joyful outlook on life only for it to inevitably be smashed into a million pieces by reality? I mean, this way they can at least enjoy a few years of ridiculous positivity, but on the other hand, they will experience some sort of major life-altering pain and they won't be ready for it. Is this the reason why so many people experience the midlife crisis? Or is it better to tell a child the truth? What exactly is life? Life is a desert and you need to cross it. A parched throat, windstorms, scorching heat, and maybe even a few giant worms are waiting for you. Along the way, you may find an occasional oasis, a brief reprieve filled with life-giving water and comforting shade. But inevitably, the oasis will dry up. You can't stay there forever. So you get refreshed and continue on before you dry up with it. Sometimes you cross the desert alone. Sometimes you cross it with another person. If you're smart, you'll make sure that person will encourage you along the way instead of dragging you back to that old oasis that's surely dried up by now. Sometimes you cross the desert on foot. Sometimes you're able to snag a camel. There are various tools that will help you along the way. Some people can buy more amenities than others, but that does not negate the fact that we are all crossing the same dangerous desert. Which message would you prefer to hear before you started your trek across the sand? Option one, enter. This is a meadow filled with lush grass, singing birds and babbling brooks. Don't you worry about a thing. Dream big and smile. Or option two, enter. This is a desert. There are so many ways you could die. 
so make sure you don't. Oh, let's see. Thirst, starvation, quicksand, windstorms, sandworms. Oh, and if you're lucky enough to make it through all that, just remember there are so many thieves who will not hesitate to take everything from you. Let me tell you the lessons I've learned to help survive this desert. Ah, so option one sure sounds nice, but it also sounds like it's gonna get me killed. Option two is brutal but it's the truth of the situation. I'd rather know what I was getting myself into and be prepared for it. What about you? What do you think life is? Do you agree that life is a desert? Or do you think I'm way off base? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please share them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.